Hey guys, so this will be a real quick speed test between these two. On the left, we have the HTC U11 with its beautiful shiny back. Very nice. And on the right, of course, we have the Midnight Black OnePlus 3T. Now, this was their special edition model. This one has 128 gigs of internal storage and a nice and hefty six gigabytes of RAM. Now this phone was probably the fastest phone that came out in 2016, has the Snapdragon 821. So let's see if this phone can hang with a current 2017 flagship here from HTC, the U11 with a Snapdragon 835. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on both at the same time right now and see which one has the faster boot up. Let's go. All right, so you can see very similar boot up times on both. And we are in. Both phones have been updated to their latest UIs. Everything has been cleared out. There's nothing in the background. So let's get the speeds that started. I do have a bunch of apps installed that I'm gonna use for this test. I'm gonna go ahead and open the messaging app right now. In three, two, one, let's go. And hmm, maybe the 3T on that one. Let's see, we do have the camera. Let's run that one. And similar on both. Okay, we do have the calculator. Where's the calculator at? Calculator. And, hmm, very close. Put in my simple equation. Shout out to the one plus five. Let's see, we do have the clock somewhere. Where's the clock at? Here it is, clock. And ooh, maybe the three T. And then we do have the weather. And hmm, I'm gonna give that to the 3T. All right, let's open the Play Store. Maybe the U11 on that one? Let's see. I'm just gonna open this, Need for Speed, and we'll leave it there. Okay, let's open the eBay app right now. eBay. And give that one to the U11. Open this flashlight. We'll just leave it there. All right, next up we have Amazon. Ooh, pretty much the same. Let's see, I'm gonna click on this thing. We'll just leave it there. Okay, Acrobat Reader, go. And that one was similar on both phones. Let's open the speed test app right now, go. And again, very similar on both. I think the U11 was just a split second faster on that one. All right, let's open some games. Mario Run. And oh, maybe the U11 was just a tad faster on that one. Next up, Angry Birds 2. Three T with the lead. Will the U eleven catch up? And the U eleven does catch up. Split second faster here. But really, both devices are very similar right now in terms of performance. Very nice. Next up, Subway Surfers. Go. And the U11, slightly ahead here. We'll tap to play a little bit. Stop the game right there. Do the same thing with the 3T. Next up, Temple Run 2, go. And we have the U11 here going ahead a little bit. 
Snapdragon 835 flexing its muscles. We'll play for a second, stop the game, and do the same thing on the 3T. Okay, next up we have some social media apps. Let's open Twitter. Go. And that's exactly the same on both. And Snapchat. And a little bit faster on the U11 as my light turns off. I'm going to turn this back on again. My bad on that one. And there you go. So now let's take a look at the multitasking on both phones. Now keep in mind that the uh, 3T here does have 6 gigs of RAM and the U11 only has 4. So we'll see if that will make a difference here on this test. We just came from Snapchat so that should still be in RAM and Twitter. And they are. Next up, Temple Run 2, still in RAM. Let's see, we have Subway Surfers here, ready to play. Angry Birds 2, right there, ready to rock. Mario Run, ready to play. Okay, what do we have next? We have the Speed Test app, ready to take a speed test if we wanted to. Acrobat, still in RAM. Let's see, both phones are buttery smooth right now. Amazon shopping, trying to keep the U11 from sliding around too much. All right, let's see, we have eBay, right on that flashlight, ready to go. Okay, the Play Store, still in RAM. All right, what do we have next? We have the weather, right there. So what do we have next? We have the clock. There we go. Calculator, shout out to the OnePlus 5 again. Camera, and finally, the messaging app, right there, slight reload on the U11. So as you can see in this speed test, both phones performing really, really well. Both phones are buttery smooth. Considering the OnePlus 3T has last year's Snapdragon 821, the fact that it has 6 gigs of RAM is really helping this phone out a lot, keeping a lot of apps in memory, making this phone run buttery smooth. Same thing really with the U11, with its Snapdragon 835, it launches games a little bit faster than the Snapdragon 821 equipped 3T. So hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think about this one. Are you Team HTC? Are you still rocking with that company? despite them releasing the U Ultra, which was a poor use of space. Do you have a U11? Or are you Team One Plus? Do you like stockish Android? Do you still have a 3T? Or did you upgrade to the One Plus 5, which I have right here? Hit me up in the comments and let me know what phone you're rocking. I'll be creeping down there. Thanks for watching. Peace out.